So I just uploaded a video of someone stealing a green crate that was under my driveway. And a lot of the comments are people saying, well, yeah, it's a general rule that everything at the end of the driveway is free, right? Hey, if I saw a box like that at the end of the driveway, I would have thought it was being discarded and would have taken it as well. Not stolen if discarded by side of road. He for sure thought it was free. I would have picked it up too. Rich folk like yourself throw out way more valuable stuff and put it at the end of their driveway. Hold of you to assume that I'm rich. It was also highly likely Cody set this all up knowing the crate would likely walk away. Because I just love getting my stuff stolen. A lot of the comments were saying like their neighbor had a lawnmower that ran out of gas by the road and it was still warm and someone picks it up and, and takes it. Obviously that's not free. You were just a dumb, stupid idiot. There are hundreds of comments like this. Right here is where my crate was that was stolen. I get the feeling a lot of people thought that this was a public road. So this is actually my driveway. It's like over a mile long. That's the road over there. Usually I would really think something that was free wouldn't be there. It would be like maybe like right here. I'm gonna measure how far the crate was from the road. And then what we're gonna do today is take everything that is within that distance from the road, because that's a distance that has been set by yeah. society. All right. So this crate was 32 feet from the edge of the road and this person took it. Everything that I can measure that's 32 feet or less from the edge of the road, I'm gonna be taking because they don't want it. My neighbor down there, like his house is like 32 feet from the road. So I think well, that's you probably have that, yeah. like real estate for me. What if someone's kid is playing 33 feet from the road? 33 is good. Yeah, he's 33 good. 33 is good, yeah. okay. All right, let's see what we got here. Anything 32 feet or less from the edge of the road it's is ours. ours because it's free. So we're just gonna keep looking. Oh. What do we have here? Oh, you gotta measure it first. Oh, right, right, right. I was just gonna take it. Got it. Oh, I have 32 foot one inch. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, 31 foot and seven eight. All right, I've really been wanting a new pit. Box, I mean, I, I don't think we should take nice. this. It's not no, ours. It's, no, I think it's trash, actually. It probably it's doesn't theirs. run anymore. No, it's it runs it. It's perfectly fine. Why would they be throwing this away? They're not. It's clearly on their property. Like it's no, but it's it's right by the edge of the road. There's it's no not way, at all. There's, there's no car way. like it's way. There's no way this is not free. I'm gonna need your help, man. I don't really want to help like steal stuff. That's uh, not... no, it's free. It's fine. Why didn't they want that anymore? They weren't throwing that out. I like. No, I posted a video about this, and all the people in the comments were saying that if it's by the edge of the road, it's free. Here's the driveway. Oh, would you? <laughs> It's a dog. No. Cody, that's definitely over 32 feet. That's a French bulldog. They're worth like 20 grand. So we can totally get that. Come here. No. Come here. Come here. Yeah. 30 feet. All right. No. <sighs> Dude, I'm going to sell this thing for like so much money. Dude, people are leaving so many things out by the road today. Oh my, Cody, you just stole a dog. No, I called, she was within the boundary. Like. You called it in. They still wanted it. It has a collar no. on. Oh, what's that say? Holland? Holland. Holland. I don't like that. Someone still owns this dog. I'm gonna dude. name it Musket. Sorry your owner didn't want you anymore, did they? All right, let's see what else we can find. Everybody's leaving everything at the end of their driveway. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, well, I'll be damned. Dude. No, this is somebody's house yes, now. these are right at the end of the driveway. It's on their driveway. That's glued onto there. Yeah, I don't think Dude. we should. No, no. Put that to Cody. Yes. These people don't even want these Put anymore. Put it back. Those are like healthy bushes. Right, we need one more good find before we can head out here. No. This is right by the road. They do not want this truck at all. They're selling it. There's a for sale sign on it. We got a truck. Where's the tape measure? I don't even need it, dude. It's so yeah, close to the road. They don't even, it's like on the road almost. Yeah, but they're selling dude. it. What the heck? A free truck? It's not free. They're just throwing it out. It's probably because there's like a little dent there. Hold up, there's no keys. Well, that's probably because it's not for free. <laughs> oh my, Cody, get out of there. Dude. No. We need like a big ticket item, like yeah. something, something nice. Twist my d**ks and bake me a cake. Is that a 1211 Kubota diesel zero turn lawnmower? Yeah, but we can it's, it's not. right by the road. Nobody's even using it anymore, dude. They probably this were. It's been abandoned. They're 20. This thing's only 23 feet from the edge of the road, so. Another honest day's work. Oh. Dude, the 
handlebars are all messed up on it. That was broken. I see why they're throwing it out now. I'll probably put that out by the road because it's it's Garbage. trash now. Hey Matt, can you come get this blue pit bike? It's got broken handlebars. Someone just broke them. That being said, I could see how all that could be actually mistaken for free stuff. Everything that I took today, I thought it was free. So I feel like actually I was wrong. You guys are in the right. There's a lot of houses I could have taken, but I just want people to keep their homes. Nothing I do is ever staged. And I think people thought that what I did was staged because they thought like, who would do that over something that petty? Well, we would do that over something that petty. What I'll probably do, I'll put signs all around my property that say like, you're welcome to come into my property and take everything. I'm getting a hint of like sarcasm from you. Yeah, yeah, like we will uh... definitely not not aggressively attack anybody but people thought that it was staged or fake i just wanted to let you all know that we, we definitely do not stage or fake anything it's actually literally all real unless it's like something that's a dumb skit there's been some determining factors like for example the first guy that stole from me i felt really bad for his wife because she was not involved whatsoever and she's crying her eyes out giving me two thousand dollars because he up thirty thousand and I kind of let that situation go because I got my stuff back. He got punished by having 30 million views and his wife was sitting there crying. So this time I feel like it was somewhat of a misunderstanding possibly on his end, even though I think today we proved that that's not really the case, but it's never okay to steal. As for stuff being by the road, I do know what people are talking about, but I think it's up to your judgment call to decide if that was legitimately free or not. That being said, let's move on to the next subject. So the whole purpose of Whistling Diesel 1000, it's like the politically incorrect stuff that we don't upload on the main channel now because we have you know deals and sponsors and relationships with people and like there's certain things that i just don't say on that channel because we want to make like captivating and exciting content and when i call someone a <laughs> some people say that we're not family friendly or whatever but this channel i literally do not give a fucking sh and i'll call anybody a <laughs> we used to like have heart to heart conversations on the main channel and we just don't do that anymore so that's what this channel's for so i can get real close to everybody comment section with what's your wife, word dude. count at right now dude, dude like seven hundred thousand. kill or cut it down i also want to give everybody a little speech you're talking a lot this episode. Yes, I think there's a big difference between talking a lot about talking a lot and just talking a lot to talk a lot. I want to get caught back up with everybody, so we're going to play a little game for the rest of this video. I want you to ask me a question that you think the audience has for me, and then I will answer it. Why are your trucks orange? <clears throat> I don't know. I don't, you gave me this on the That's spot. I don't question. know. You know why, give me one reason why we, you should keep working here. Where are all the old videos? I archived a lot of them because I felt like they were not our best work. Several of them actually were not. I felt like they're quite unprofessional. I feel like the people that enjoyed certain ones might not be the audience we're trying to appeal to. The background I came from didn't prioritize any sort of success or motivation or education, anything done in a tasteful way. And I feel like my old content didn't properly emulate that. I don't get enjoyment out of just going and causing like ruckus for nothing i want it to be like something that's like absolutely crazy like something something cool why won't you destroy your lamborghini it is destroyed it's been in the paint shop with panels ripped off it for the last six months now so i'm actually contemplating completely fully destroying it okay. i spent half a million dollars on it and the paint is all chipping off because someone didn't let the paint cure properly before putting the ppf on so now the car is completely disassembled so i might just destroy that car actually the pythagorean theorem theorized by john quincy edwards in 1958 whenever he theorized that what was your your thoughts on the climate of the earth and the socioeconomic yes. culture driven yes. by other John D. Rockefeller and Thomas E. Edwards. Yes, I, I see what you're saying about Thomas Edison. <clears throat> I really think that the I didn't even mention Thomas Edison, yeah. actually. No! Company vehicles down. What the hell? Come on here for two seconds and you're throwing rocks. What is wrong with you? Me? You just you threw the rock. just threw a rock at my hood. So there's people working in the shop and they have no idea rocks about to come through the window. Why are you gonna- That's the funniest thing about working. <laughs> they have no idea. Set. I was just letting you know that this glass panel is broken. It needs to replace. You know that's $75 every time you do that. I think that brings us to the end of our outro. This is just the outro? I think the biggest thing is I fixed this all alone on my own. Okay. In all the videos that you see, I'm the one filming them. <laughs> it's just that fixing the <laughs> Well, I, I honestly think that's it for the intro. So let's get started now. I feel like we've addressed all the important. I am doing daily uploads. I'm just really bad at it. I'm trying. Did you hear about the, um, the, the wild, rabid, the rabid animal that is, has been attacking people in blue jeans? No. My cameraman, I hired him from South Albania. He's the best of the best. He's gone to co cameraman college for like 70 years. I also wanted to address the allegations of people saying that I stole a green pair of pants from the mall yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. I will, um, I am gonna be uploading daily though, so I'll see you guys next week. Can you see?
me.